What's up there, YouTube? Gonna be doing a little bit of an update video here. So we got the Windy Nation up there. It's been a while since I've been able to actually get up there and do any work to it. It's been a while since I put a video up. I haven't put a video up in, oh geez. I don't even remember how long it's been. But uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get the Windy Nation down completely, see what it needs, and then hopefully we can work on getting the bracketry made to get the, hopefully we can get the Thermodyne up there. That's, that's my goal today, at least by the end of the day, is to have that up, running and hooked up and everything. Because I've been dying to get it up there, but it's just, one thing after another is just preventing me from doing it. So, well, I'm going to get up on the roof, get the Windy Nation down. We'll kind of go over it real quick and see what it looks like on the ground. Let's see what the condition of it is and everything. And then I'll show you my plans for the, the Thermodyne, the super core I have that I wanted to get up months ago, but haven't been able to. So, light winds today, it's sunny, it's not that cold. Let's get her down. Everything's down now, and so now next next phase will be to get the tower down. I got to pull the wires back, take the guy wires off, and lift the tower out. So I guess we'll start here with the blades. Um, as you can see, maybe if I can get a damn thing in focus, light balance is not. Oh, see, it's really hard to do this out in the sun. But all right, let's start up here. <clears throat> you can see where I smack the blades with the ladder. That was all my fault there. Okay, there we go. All right, so yeah, you can see the condition of the blade's actually really good. Sorry, apologize. Yeah, so you can see that's where I, I keep nicking the blades with the hand, with the ladder every time I go up on the roof. So just keep that in mind when you are working on it. Okay, you can see here. A couple of times I, I struck it. Ooh, white balance. White freaking balance. Yeah, let's go to... So overall the blades are pretty good. But right here is where I could feel where this is pretty wore in. There's a nice deep groove there from the lock nut from me taking them off and on all the time. Changing them out. Anytime I had to do something a little different on it. Uh, overall though... Blades are in pretty fair shape. I know it's hard to see. This isn't a camcorder. DSLR. I don't use a camcorder anymore. Yeah. But the way I had this set up, and what was giving me a few issues when it came to how the the turbine was rotating and everything <clears throat> because this pipe here is the same size diameter as the tower you know naturally it won't fit over it so what I did was I took this piece here so yeah this pipe here or this lock collar here was from when I had the Missouri wind and solar turbine uh, this is what was part of that deal which I kept this because I knew I was gonna need it and it looks like it held up pretty good I mean, it looks okay. I mean, I'm sure it's pretty wore out. There's a, there's definitely an edge on it from where it was rotating. But what I did was, because I knew this was only temporary, was I shoved this. This is an inch and a quarter. Yeah, inch and a quarter thread by nipple for PVC piping or whatever you want to use it for, just a barb fitting. I put that in here, and then the tower here the tower the turbine rotated on this but you could hear it <laughs> it's wore out like I mean it's it's pretty majorly wore out and then this this shaft here fit inside the tower and that's why there was so much play because you could see if I put this back in you could see how 
how much wobbliness it was there. But, you know, I don't like to leave the turbine out of service for too long. But you can see my homemade shit is all rusted up. The, uh, the turbine head itself, the generator head, looks to be in fairly decent shape. I mean, it still rotates nice and free. The bearings still feel really good, which I expected. You know, I mean, it's... The end of this shaft is a little... Got some rust on it from the... Everything just rot, rotting out like this little shit here. Just shit getting a little rusty. But, uh... Aside from that, I mean, the aluminum casings just got a little bit of corrosion on it. This is the bottom side. There's a little bit of shit on it from me dropping it here in the dirt. But my my mount overall held up pretty good. I mean, yeah, it has rust on it, but, you know, I didn't do the greatest job when I was preparing it. And the tail fin. That was the home. This is all from the... Everything from here back I made when I had the Missouri Wind and Solar Turbine. And all this junk here I made when I got this one. So... Now I think I'll show you what I have plans, how I'm going to mount and install the Thermodyne turbine. So we'll get the Thermodyne installed and we'll get, we're going to get the bracket made up for it. I got a pretty neat idea I'm going to try out with that and I also want to try something else with this so I'll show you that shit too. Alright guys, we got the super core here on the bench. Here's why I've been so far behind on everything. We've been doing a little bit of a, a garage remodel. Sorry, the white balance is off. But uh, yeah, I've been working on trying to get rid of all that old nasty drywall that was in here from an old roof leak. So now that that's all gone, I'll be able to get all my items in order. All the rest of my garage will be sorted out. But that's that's one reason why I've been so backed up with videos. I haven't been able to get a video up in forever. So here's my new workstation over here. It's not done yet. I still have a little bit of... Or I got a few things yet I still have to mount. I gotta get drawers mounted and uh, get stuff painted up. But aside from that, I mean it's pretty much ready to go. Um, the point of this video here is to talk about this turbine. The one that I've been wanting to be get up on the tower for the longest time. I actually wanted to get it up with the Windy Nation turbine, but I haven't been able to. I, like I said, I've been so busy with stuff, it's just nothing's been going my way with this. So, that being said, today being the nicest day that we've had in a while, and I've actually had some free time, we got the Windy Nation down as you saw. Here's the turbine head here, the generator head rather. Here's the old mount, as you can see. This is all it. This is the little plastic doodad that was in there but we got the turbine down there's the tail fin and whatnot so this will probably reuse this or redo the mounting system for this but I have a few ideas I just don't know what how I'm gonna do it yet so with this here we're going to create a system where I can interchange turbines on that tower with this simple as undoing some wires and changing out some bolts. And how am I going to do that, you ask? Well, I took the idea from this. This is the base plate for the roller bracket from Thermodyne. It slips over the pipe like so. Uh, okay, this piece is... I got this piece cut. So, right, so let me do this. So we have... Say we have the... All right, so we have the tower, okay? And we have the roller bracket goes on, and then we drop this on, and then the turbine sits on top of that, and this rotates on those bearings, those wheels. So I borrowed the idea from that to do something I'm going to try. So what I did was I went and I had five of these made up, five of these discs, so I can create four additional turbine mounts for any size turbine that I get to fit on that tower. And what I'm doing right at the moment is I'm drilling holes through two of them. Okay, see I got two of them 
sandwiched together here. I got two more here on this side. The, these two are done. I just have to make them bigger. I'm getting the pilot holes drilled first. I got two more pilot holes to drill. And then I'll make them larger. And then this will be ready to... This will, These two plates here will be ready to be welded to where they're going. I just have to get the tower down. But I'm not going to do that until I'm ready for it. So, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much where we're at right now, guys. That's... That's the latest and greatest, and that's why I haven't gotten the Thermodyne turbine installed yet. It's been uh, it's been an endeavor trying to get this garage straightened up and ready. I still have a lot of work to do out here, and you know, amongst other things, with the trailer, with this, uh, some in-house remodeling that's being done. It's it's been a trip. Okay, so essentially this is what I'm going to have when we're done. We're going to have a 20 inch piece of pipe with the plate on the bottom, the four holes going around where I can put the large, large diameter nuts and bolts. Okay, and then on the top of the tower section where the turbine is going to go, we're going to have this slip ring assembly, which is going to be, I have an idea for how this is going to mount. This is going to be removable. It has to be removable. So it'll actually mount to the tower, top of the tower section so when whatever turbine I have installed up on here I don't have to worry so much about wiring and all that fun shit. All the pain in the ass stuff that comes with these micro turbines. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm so still dying to see what kind of power output I'm going to get with this. I'll hook up all the watts meters and then we'll get some results because I know this week I'm hoping to get this done tonight, maybe reinstalled tomorrow, and we'll get some results with the watts meters. Okay, here's a new update here. I'm going to try to do this all in one video. So we have the first section of actual tower mount. This will be that goes on top of the tower. Well, we have the first plate, still a little warm, the first plate welded on. So, well, you can tell right there the wire it wasn't just wasn't hot enough, but it's still sealed. I cranked up my wire feed and my heat, and I got these awesome welds here. So, because they're, they're all about 3 16ths of an inch, all of it. The pipe, schedule 40, and this piece. So, we have that plate there, okay, which this is going to get a little bit more cleaned up. My hands are really nasty I'm working with this pipe. My hands get real dirty. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get this cleaned up here. It's, it's actually, it's perfectly square. So we got this part done. So the next thing I'm going to do is i got to get this piece cleaned up. i got to get the tower out of the roof get it in here get that end cleaned up on it and get this second piece welded onto it and then this will be on the tower half just like this and I'm, I'm considering making the nuts captive on that side like just giving them a little spot weld once I get them really tight I'm thinking of just giving them a little zap just so I don't have to be fumbling around with a wrench and a socket while I'm up there installing this. It's just a matter of putting these in and then I can use lock washers on them when they come through. Like I go through this end here and I go through here and then into this plate like so. I was like this is how it's going to work. These are going to match right up like that. Then the bolt will go through like that. It'll grab the nut on the back side and then the tower or the uh, the turbine mast will be married to the tower mast which will have this plate which I think this will be strong enough it'll hold perfectly fine I don't see any issues with it um, eventually we're gonna gusset these there'll be one here one here right in between each bolt we'll have a gusset but anyway nonetheless 
how it's going to work is the turbine will sit on this piece here. And then when it's bolted up there, it'll be perfect. Because then that disc that I got with the kit will go here on this part of the pipe. And then just under that, we're going to put the roller bearing. This part right here will go on that part of this. So this will be one complete assembly. And then the wires will come down from the turbine through the pipe. And they'll come out here. I have a box here. Okay, they'll come out here and they'll go into another box on top of the tower, which will be right here. So that way the interconnection between these two will be seamless and it'll be watertight. I'm actually going to do put a gasket material in here. So when I put this on, I actually have a piece of rubber tire tube. I'll put it in here. So when I close it down, it won't it'll help absorb vibrations for one and two it'll keep it weather sealed. Anything to do anything to keep it weather sealed is great. I got to get this slip ring installed. So I want this to be up here which will then be in its own weather proof enclosure. So there's I have a few ideas of what we got to do. I don't have it all set in stone yet. So it's just a matter of it's just a matter of how I'm going to do it. So, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on this current project because this project is this project is quite large. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while, and it's just going to be great now to have an easel, an e very easy turbine system. Now it's going to be very easy to manipulate the turbine. If I want to take it off the tower, I can. I don't have to worry. How you know? Every time I want to take the turbine down, it's it's a freaking project. But at least now. I could essentially, once I disconnect the wires, I could essentially take this entire thing down as one piece. That's going to be nice. Yeah, that'll be really nice. But, you know, like I said, it's a, it's a new project, so we'll see what happens. Okay, guys, we got the tower down. This is going to be the last video for tonight. You can see there, it's all the way down there, all 16 feet of it and some sawdust. And all the other shit that's in here. Okay. So here you go. We can see we have terrible light. So it's hard to see. I'm sorry. So here's the best I could do for you. Um, you can see how we have the captive nuts. These are welded to this ring now. So I don't have to worry about fumbling with these little bastards when I'm up on the tower. Or up on the roof with the tower. The ring is welded to the tower itself. So this is all one piece now. It's nice and square. Everything's perfect. Just have to get a little bit of paint on it. And I'm going to redo the tower paint. I'm going to paint the whole thing white. We're going to paint the entire tower white. So now what it's going to do is it'll attach just like this. Well, I have my marks. But, you know, there you go. So it'll attach to the tower just like this with a bunch of bolts. And then, uh, yeah, and then the turbine will mount on here. And we'll be ready to rock and roll. But that's it for tonight. That's as far as I'm going to do. I'm not going to go any further with it because I want to paint it tomorrow. Get the garage nice and warm. Get all the steel painted up and ready to rock and roll. Give it a day or two to cure. I'd like to try to get the tower back up as soon as possible because I know we have some wind coming. And then, uh, yeah, then we should be ready to go. We'll get the wires rerun, turbine up, and we'll start seeing some output. So, all right, guys, we'll see you in the next video.